The issue with bladder cancer management is that you've got a choice of two ways broadly of managing it. You can either do surgery to take the bladder out, or you can do radiotherapy with the aim of preserving the bladder. But the problem is, if you just do radiotherapy on its own, it doesn't work very well. So in our experience, around about a third of the patients end up having to have surgery anyway. And that's clearly the worst of all possible worlds, because you've had all the side effects of radiotherapy, and you've had all the side effects of surgery, and the surgery is more complicated because of the previous radiotherapy. So what we were keen to figure out was whether there was a way of improving the results of radiotherapy by adding in drug treatments, it was, it was the, the, the general place we were starting from. So we found a couple of drugs that had been previously used for other pelvic cancers, um, one called 5-FU, one called mitomycin C, very old cancer drugs, which were known to make radiotherapy work better. And so prior to the current trial, we then had to do what's called a phase one trial to work out what dose we could safely combine with radiotherapy. Having done the phase one trial, we then had to do the phase two trial to make sure that we, we got it right, really, and that, that you could do it. So we treated about 50 patients altogether prior to the present trial just to make sure we got the drugs and doses and radiation schedule and so on suitable for the sort of population we were treating. We then got funding from cancer research campaign as it was then, CRUK now, to do the present trial which compared radiotherapy on its own with radiotherapy combined with the chemotherapy schedule we'd developed. We treated altogether around 360 patients uh, over an eight year period, 2001 through to 2008. Um, so it took quite a long time to accrue patients to the trial. Half of them got radiotherapy alone, half got the combined treatment with chemotherapy. The main endpoint for the trial was the rate at which patients got disease coming back in their bladder. And roughly speaking, we res re reduced the recurrence rate in the bladder by about a third. Um, but more importantly, when we looked at the recurrences we got, we, we could split the recurrences into two sorts. Uh, recurrences called superficial, which just in the lining of the bladder, which the surgeons can just scrape out for us, you don't lose your bladder and invasive recurrences, which, are, as you imply from the name, are much nastier. And so if you have an invasive recurrence, you either have to have the bladder removed or you have to have chemotherapy or something like that, so much more serious. And what we found was that we halved the rate at which patients got, superficial, got invasive recurrence, roughly. So we went from around about 40% of patients getting invasive recurrence down to about 20% of patients getting invasive recurrence after two years. So four out of five patients, no recurrence at all. There's, there's a second important feature for the trial, which is that we were very careful to measure the long-term side effects of the treatment. So what we wanted to ensure was that we weren't giving patients a, a small, poorly functioning bladder by giving them extra chemotherapy. And essentially, 75% of the patients treated in the trial reported no long-term side effects at all, an improvement in the recurrence rate without a real significant side effect penalty really should mean that it's something that is applicable to a very wide population of patients getting bladder cancer radiotherapy.